Hey guys, Tricky2K here. Wanted to show you the DLC that has been released, the uh, the racer side. Uh, I will show you the cop side tomorrow. I don't have time to do both today, sadly. So let's look at the cars they gave us in the DLC pack. It's the Jaguar XJ220 and the prototype Jaguar CX75, the classic Ferrari F40 and the new Ferrari F50. As you can see I've already gone ahead and maximum upgraded this cars already. Uh, well let's start off with the, the first car, the Jaguar. I chose to go with the, the classic green because I like it like that. Um, Pursuit Tech you can go to level 3 which means a level 3 car and uh, to show you the custom jobs that's available this is the green I chose to go with you got a red, blue, some cyan-ish, black, white, red, and a yellow. Let's go with the green, I like it. Rims, however, <laughs> they fail horribly with the textures. It looks okay with matte, but look what happens when I go to gold. Yeah, not pretty. And it's like that for everything that's not matte. So the map looks okay, but as soon as there is something else, I mean, they, someone did a sloppy job with this one. So, yeah. I made a red outline, yeah, why not? And then, of course, we got wraps and liveries. And uh, as always, they are gorgeous. Just look at that. Wow. So nice. They really did an awesome job with this one. Uh, I seriously have no idea why they have to puke all over the cars, and I'm uh, I'm not sure you can even change it, but everything is like really metallic, so uh, it doesn't necessarily fit anyone that you know w would like a, a, a one of these wraps or livers or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's how they look anyway. So let's head out to the track. Uh, start here because this one this event starts with a tunnel which means you get the nice echo which is always nice I'm gonna s switch to the first person view uh, the bonnet view uh, well the ground cam is not a bonnet view I wish there was a bonnet view that has the best sound <clears throat> all right so here's the Jaguar stylish green yeah this is a classic classic car from uh, Need for Speed 2, second edition. I love that car in that game. Right, let's start the event. And listen to our spin up. She does sound nice. Really nice. What's the average feel about the car then? Um, feels sort of heavy, which, well, I guess it is. But just listen to that. The way she purrs. sound of this car. It's been so long time since I played New Speed 2, so I can't really remember the sound, but this is great. So the sound engineers did a great job on this car. A little bit heavy as a feel, but uh, yeah, it controls nicely, and it just missed a checkpoint either, and I, yeah. Oh well. Good to know for the, the other runs. Around. Okay. Talented SCPD. Oh, where do you come from? Going oh, turbo as well. <laughs> Any total? <laughs> yeah, but the car feels great. Uh, I gotta say. 
diamond. So it's a little bit heavy. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that, but uh, yeah, I like it. It's nice. Alright, back down to the freeway turbo. Boom. It's about 380. 1.2 left. And there you go. 238, but I did a horrible mistake there. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to make a skip here and uh, get back with the the next car after this is that so you don't want to see me to outrun the cops and find the find a hiding station. Well, it's actually not a long, but uh, I'll skip anyways. Alright, next car. The prototype, the hypercar, the, the only level 4 car. It looks kind of nice. It reminds me very much of the uh, McLaren P1, actually. Um, so yeah, Pursuit Tech goes up all the way to level four. And the custom jobs. Is this? I like this orange. There's a gray one, metallic, which is real nice as well. You got a red one, a white one, a black, uh, greenish, white, and some purple blue. Something, but uh, I I really like the either this one or the the orange. But let's go with the orange. Rims, this one I like the most. Um, this one is nice as well. Black, hardly noticeable, but kind of nice. Uh, doesn't seem like they messed up with the texture quality on these rims. Call the one that looks kind of nice on this car as well. But uh, yeah, let's go with the. This one is shiny. And wraps and liver get ready for the barfing. Yeah. Just uh wow. Uh yeah. So with uh, another color setup, I mean some of these might have looked a little bit more okay, but uh I'm not too fond of any there's hardly any um car in this game that has good weapon and liver set. Alright, here she is. It's kind of gorgeous, isn't it? Quite compact. Not really sure I really like the taillights, but it does have a little sweet little spoiler that goes up. Start her up. Huh? <laughs> well, that was a weird one. <laughs> I guess it's some kind of um, electric engine, this one, with working together with a petrol engine. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird, though. Yeah, yeah, honk all you want. Here it's a fast car. Whoa. Thank you guys. Very nice driving there. Yeah, this car is fast. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. So it's a proper hyper car then. That was I was planning. There you go, spoiler. Fuck him this as well. Ugh, come on. So it looks way better with the spoiler app. Really cool. Oh, you probably. Keep an eye on the road. Here 
here's a pro tip for some experienced drivers. Okay, so I'm not going to take the shortcut this time. It's obviously not much of a shortcut if you have to go back. Best turn, but <laughs> it's okay, I guess. So this corf is it's very nice. Um, it's got good traction, uh, very good handling. I really like the handling of this car. It's, if I had to compare it to you another car, um, it's not as good as the Enso. It's not as stiff as the P1, but uh, yeah, it's definitely nice. See what she can get in terms of top speed. Three hundred eight sevens. I think that's about the same as the P1. Can't actually remember what its top speed is, but yeah, it feels really good. Good handling. Um, maybe a little bit like the um, Pagani Miura. Not as drifty or tailgatey, but yeah, it's it's good. I like it. It looks like a proper hypercar. Crashes like one of. Nice crash. All right, I'm gonna cut to the next one here. All right, next car, the classic Ferrari F40. Pursuit Tech, again, level 3. Um, and I, as I said, I have all the, these cars maximum upgraded. Custom paint jobs. Let's go here. Like light red that's been in the sun for years, which is kind of cool. I'm, I'm not sure the, that was their, they were aiming off. Black one looks really cool. Of course, the classic Ferrari red. White, the yellow one. A white, some darkish blue, and some white blue. But I'm gonna go with the the yellow. I like the yellow, and everyone will probably go with the classic for our red. But I, I'll keep that for the F50 instead. Rims. No messy texture jobs here. Old classic rims. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with these. Feels more true to the car. Livers. I'll present to you Sir Barfalot in three different categories. I mean, why? Just why? <laughs> Ugh. Let's get on with the race instead. Right, here she is. Look at that beautiful tail. Classic beautiful tail. This big rear lights. Yeah, this is a proper race car. Shut up. You, you do know you, your car has a steering wheel. You can just like go around me. There's plenty of space. Okay, start her up. Listen to that noise she makes when she shifts. Yeah, really nice, huh? feel that fast for being a level 3 car I guess. For good measurement I think I'll, I'll take um, another level 3 car and just brush it up to see how that feels. 
if it's any, any quicker. It's the same. Oh, barely watched that. Handling wise, well, it's it's good. It's, it's Ferrari good in this game. So I'm not sure if the producers favorizes the Ferraris, maybe. Not unthinkable. That's a better turn. Uh, yeah, but it feels nice. I guess you have to drive it a little bit more to, to get a better, like, average feel of, of the car, but first impression is good. Uh, it's just that it doesn't feel quite that fast in acceleration. I can't remember the, what the points are for the car, though. Oh, that's the top speed there. That's a shame. I just want to go for straight to see you. Oh, whoa. oh, that's that. Oh, look, she looks all sad now. Seven, so the same top speed. All right, that's that. Let's get on to the next car. Back in the garage, safe and sound. Let's change the car to the Ferrari F50. There you go. She's really beautiful. I like this car. Really nice. Again, level three car. Custom jobs. Of course, you're gonna go with this Ferrari red. I mean, you can never go wrong. I mean, I really like this black one too. It kind of looks really mean. Yellow is cool. White is sort of nice. Blue one is yeah, quite okay. But yeah, Ferrari yellow. And the same kind of rim, so. Nothing really much to see here, really. I think the, the, the golden one looks best. It's a little bit too golden, but, um, yeah, kind of nice. Reps and liveries, again, a bar fest in multiple colors that will make you go dizzy or get a headache. I don't know. Well, at least you know I won't look, I guess. Let's get down to the track. And voila. The Ferrari F50. Now that is a gorgeous car. See how gorgeous it is when the sun reflects in the Ferrari logo? Yeah. Let's hear a purr. Sounds Ferrari. Oh, traffic. This car feels a little bit faster than the the F40. And uh, handling wise, it also feels more crisp. Better, better control. I didn't look at the stats. I mean, that might be obvious, but this is more like the the Enzo, if you if you want to compare it. It's fast, good exploration, and handles really good. Doesn't seem like it's that hard to get a little bit of oversteer. Tap a little bit too much on the brake. Oh, lace. 
I should turn off. Oh! Card. Of course. Just because it bounced. Yeah, okay. Oh, by the way, I, I'm not sure if you, you've ever noticed this, but it's kind of funny and it, it's kind of, kind of uh, funny miss. I don't know how they could be so sloppy, but whenever you crash and your car gets reset, it seems like you always start in reverse. I, I, even if you, your car gets reset in like 150 kilometers per hour or something, I mean, it's ridiculous. Let's see if I can show that. Look at the gear now. Yeah, reverse. <laughs> and, and then straight into second gear. Yeah. Let's see, uh, I'm assuming this one has the same top speed since every other car had it, have had it so far. Almost lost this one. There you go. Oh, this one is actually slower. 383. You just barely, but yeah. So that's that. Out of these cars. Um, all gorgeous cars. All great cars. But it. Um, I can't help but to feel like the the engine sounds on the Ferraris, uh, perhaps the Jag as well, were significantly lower. The XJ220 had an awesome sound, I really like that, but it felt like the Ferrari and the, uh, the both Ferraris and maybe the, the Proto, I can't remember, had a little bit lower engine noise. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what's, what's going on with that. I've been mean, just me. If anyone else notices as well, just well, let me know. But yeah, so these are the cars. And there will be more cars coming soon. There will actually be in March also a um, free DLC uh, with the uh, Koenigsegg Agera 1, the new Koenigsegg coming out. So a free car for both the racer and the cop side. And I will tomorrow bring you a video of the cop car as, as well as to get a little bit of uh, average fuel if it's worth money. It's not that pricey, but then again, it's just um, four cars in, in each of the packs. Uh, well, in both packs together. So, yeah. Alright, see you next time, guys.